Hi all, today we are going to discuss about sending and power circle diagram. So to calculate the sending and power circle diagram, we know the a from the ABCD parameters Vs is equal to A times of Vr plus B times of Ir and the value of Is is equal to C times of Vr plus D times of Ir. That means if you know the value of the sending and voltage, receiving and voltage, and the ABCD parameters, let us assume ABCD parameters. And if you also know the load angle, that means the angle difference between Vs and Vr, in that case, I can easily calculate what is my sending and power, what is my sending and active and reactive powers, as well as the sending and power factor. And the similar way, if you know the sending and power factor, if you know sending and power and sending and reactive power, I can calculate the value of the corresponding value of the sending and voltage and the corresponding value of the load angle that is required. So that is a flexibility of using the sending and power circle diagram. Let us see the procedure in today's class and numerical will be solved in the coming class. So let us try to solve it. So from this equation, we can rewrite this value of this Vs. I can write as Vs is equal to A times of Vr plus B times of Ir. So from this, I can just divide both sides by B. This will become Vs by B minus A by B times of Vr. So if I am dividing like this, this is A by B times of Vr. So this will be equal to my value of the receiving and current. So Ir I can write as in terms of Vs and Vr. This is the first one. So this we are going to substitute in the sending and current because I want to write my sending and current in terms of the voltages because I don't know the currents. So Is will be equal to C times of Vr plus D times of whatever is this Ir I am substituting here. So this will become equal to Vs divided by B minus a by b times of vr so remember this these are the vectors so using this i can calculate this so this i can simplify as so if you are writing this this will become c times of vr plus d times of vs divided by p minus ad divided by b times of vr this is what we get so we can this further simplify this one so when you are simplifying this one so this will become equal to d by b times of Vs plus Vr I can take as common. If you are taking Vr as a common, so this will become C multiplied by B minus AD divided by B. Because we know that AD minus BC is equal to 1. So we can tell that this is just opposite. So we will get the negative sign. So this I can write in the form Vs multiplied by D by B minus Vr divided by B. This is what we get. So let us take this as equation number 2. So let us take this as equation number 1. So I got the value of the sending and value. I got the value of the sending and current. So now let us proceed further. I can calculate my sending and apparent power SS is equal to Vs multiplied by Is conjugate. So this I can write as Vs multiplied by this Is is in terms of Vs and Vr. So this I am calculating as this Vs multiplied by D by B minus Vr divided by B, this we have to take the conjugate. The meaning of the conjugate means you have to take the angle as a negative angle. So why the conjugate is taken when multiplying voltage and current? The reason is we have to take the difference of the angle between the voltage and the current. That is the main reason. If you want the complete detail, what will happen if you are taking opposite? This I have discussed in my basic electrical engineering lectures. Why power S is equal to V into I conjugate? So you can please refer there. I am leaving the link in the I tab above. You can please refer from there if you don't have idea about that. So if you are multiplying this one, so this will become because D is I can replace by A because A is equal to D in the transmission line. So this I can replace by A by B times of Vs multiplied by Vs will be Vs square and if you are taking the angle, the angle will be beta minus alpha because the reason is you are taking the conjugate. So Vs is having an angle of delta. One is delta, another one is minus delta that will cancel out. So whatever is the angle in the denominator that will come as plus. So it will be beta and numerator that D is nothing but A, A is having an angle of alpha. So that is the reason beta minus alpha came. So minus Vs Vr divided by B at an angle of delta plus beta. So let us take it as equation number 3. So we got up to the power. So now from this I can calculate my active power Ps is equal to A by B times of Vs square 
and I have to take the cosine of the angle. So, this will become cos of beta minus alpha minus Vs Vr by B cos of delta plus beta. So, let us take it as equation number 4. So, similarly, I can write my sending and reactive power. This will be A by B times of Vs square into sine of beta minus alpha minus Vs Vr divided by b times of sine of delta plus beta. So, remember here, here I am writing on a glass screen. So, that is why the handwriting does not come properly. So, I have kept the complete handwritten material in the link below. You can just refer to the description below this video. There the link is provided. You can download the complete handwritten material as well as snapshot of whatever I am writing on this screen. So, this will be available there. You can download from there. Here you just try to understand what I am telling or you can download that material, try to compare with my video so that it will be very easy to understand. So, now in this equation number 4 and equation number 5. So, once the transmission line is designed, this ABCD parameters are fixed. ABCD parameters means automatically the value of alpha is fixed, beta is also fixed, alpha beta is also fixed and only variable that is happening here is the angle that is delta and the variable Vs and Vr. Let us assume Vs, Vr also fixed. So, only variable will be delta. So, we can tell that only variable to draw the circle diagram will be the angle that can vary is this delta or the second component. That means, this component will vary. So, this component will remain constant. So, this I can from this I can compare and write that this I can write in the form of a circle because this circle is having the center that is located at this location A by B times of Vs square having an angle of beta minus alpha that will be the center that is located. From this I will draw the radius of a circle that radius of the circle will be Vs Vr by P. This will have an angle of delta plus B because minus sign is there we have to take from the third quadrant. So, what is the reason for these things? We have already seen in our last class for sending and power circle diagram. So, I am directly writing here instead of deriving those things because I hope that you know the equation of a circle. So, I am just summarizing this. The center of the sending and circle diagram is located at the tip of the phasor. So, A by B times of Vs square making an angle of beta minus alpha, this will be the center and the radius of the circle is Vs Vr divided by B. This will be the radius of the circle. So, let us try to see how to draw this using these equations. So, first thing what you have to do just draw the x and y coordinates. Let us assume this x coordinate represents in megawatt. This y coordinates represents the reactive power in MVAR. So, now first thing you have to do is first you have to locate the center. Let us take this coordinate as O. Now, from the coordinate O, now I draw a line. Now, I am drawing a line. So, this line will have a length of a by b times of Vs square and it makes an angle because you can see the angle that is made is beta minus alpha with respect to the x axis. Now, wherever this is coming, so this indicates the center of your circle. So, when the center of the circle is known, now draw a circle having the radius of Vs Vr by b. You have to draw a circle of Vs Vr by b. So, take the radius of Vs Vr by b. Let us assume I have drawn a circle. This is my circle with the radius of Vs Vr divided by b. So, now how to know at a particular instant what will be the value? So, for that you have to take this third coordinate system that means third coordinate. This will be the third coordinate. This is second coordinate and third coordinate will be here. So, with respect to this third coordinate, you have to draw the line at an angle of beta plus delta. So, let us take for example, this angle is equal to beta plus delta. That means, with this angle, you have to draw the line. I have draw the line. So, this line will intersect this circle at this point. So, what is the radius of this one? This radius will be Vs into Vr divided by B. Everyone agree with me? And this angle will be beta plus delta with respect to third coordinate. So, this total the angle is beta plus delta. Let us assume the beta, the reference point for the beta 
is somewhere here so this angle is equal to beta so that this remaining angle whatever is coming this angle will be equal to delta that means i can tell that this line is reference line for getting the value of delta so this is the reference line for drawing the value of the delta so now you can see from the symmetry if this is indicating beta minus alpha so automatically this will again make an angle of so this angle if you calculate so this angle also will be equal to beta minus alpha so this angle is b so what will be this angle this angle will be alpha so using that also you can calculate it so i hope the angles are clear to you let me try to represent the angles again then we will proceed further so i am just drawing this upper part so in this this is my line that is coming this line makes an angle of this angle is beta minus alpha so for this beta minus alpha if you add an angle of alpha so this becomes the beta that means this becomes the value of beta so we have to draw it at an angle of beta plus delta so you add some more length that is equal to delta from here so at the length of delta you have to draw the radius that line so that line is this corresponding line i think it is clear to you now so now this is intersecting at some particular point so now what you have to do you have to draw a line from the center which is pointing towards this point let us take this point as point is equal to m so now from this point you just draw a line this law is intersecting this at this point so corresponding to this whatever is this value this indicates the value of the sending and reactive power and this indicates the value of sending and active power this is also obtained so along with that whatever this angle is made by this this indicates the sending and power factor angle so you got the active power reactive power as well as angle so that means if you know the value of vs and vr so using this you can calculate the value of sending and active and reactive power as well as the sending and power factor let us see you due to some reason if my receiving and voltage is changed but using some techniques the sending and voltage is fixed and receiving and voltage is changed so once the sending and voltage is fixed you can see here the this circle because it is having a by b times of vr square it is not changed so i am just summarizing here if value of vs is fixed and vr is changed so then what is going to happen that cs is fixed because cs is fixed because vs is fixed so from the cs the radius whatever the radius of circle this radius of the circle is equal to vs vr by b so this circle is changed only radius of the circle will be changed but center will not change let us assume due to some reason by using by changing the excitation or something you have changed your sending and voltage that means vs is changed so if the vs is changed automatically a by b times of vs square is changed so automatically your center will shift from this point or we can tell that when vs is changed then the center is shifted along the line ocs along the line ocs you have to take the extension accordingly because angle beta minus alpha is fixed so then accordingly you draw the diagram i hope this how to draw the sending and power circle diagram is completely clear to you so to understand the concept completely more clear so next class we are going to see a numerical on sending and power circle diagram so the concept will be completely clear to you so you can please download the material from the link below still if you have doubt you can leave your comments in the comment section below i will answer to your queries from there thank you thank you very much